All right, everybody. Well, today is Friday, June 16th, and I really have to share this with you because TSO Products has made something that was great already even better, and I think they did a good job doing it. So this is the original guide rail square. This is the GRS 16 PE. It is a great guide rail square. I've been using it for months now, and it is awesome. It's always dead on 90, but what they have done to innovate this here, and I think it was a great idea the way they did it, is number one, they changed the tolerance from where the clamps sit. So you'll notice on the guide rail clamps, there's a lot of play in there. Well, on the new guide rail square, they changed that. The tolerance is minimal. Still will fit aftermarket clamps, doesn't have to be just Festool, but uh, the main thing that they changed was, if you can see here, I'll try to make it focus, but right here versus the old guide rail square right here. This adapter that goes onto the guide rail is used to lock it in place right here. So that slides into the rail, and once you lock it on, you're good to go. It's 90 degrees. There's only one problem. If you need to move this to the other side and you have an obstruction inside the rail here, like let's say you have two rails connected together, or let's say that you have it connected to a parallel guide and you want to get to the other side of a 3,000 millimeter rail, well, you either have to loosen it up and slide it all the way, but if there is a connector in there for two tracks, then you can't do that. You have to take it out, all the way out, bring it all the way to the other side, slide it in. If you want to get to the other side and you don't have a uh, obstruction in the middle like a clamp or the rail connectors then you can slide this all the way to the other end and clamp it in place well if you've seen my previous videos where I show you how I have the drop on adapters for the Festool rails for the parallel guide system well that's what this L-shaped adapter is for this now can be put on the rail anywhere it drops right in and then the toggle clamp will lock it right onto the rail in that position. And then you just unclamp it, and then you can pull it right off the rail without any worries about any obstruction. So if I have it here locked in on the rail, and I need it to get to the other side, and I do have rail connectors or a clamp in there, well, I could just pull that bracket right out because of that L shape. I'll put it right into the guide rail right up here where I need it and then lock it in place right there. So it does save time. And it makes it a lot easier when you have a parallel guide, such as the 50 inch parallel guide hooked up to this. Now you can use this still as a drop on adapter for your parallel guides. So let's just make a cut real quick with this and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so I've already ripped this edge. This is my reference edge. I ripped it straight I did a straight line rip of the track saw and my track. Now I made also from there with the guide rail square. I butted up against there and just made a quick 90 degree reference cut here. So this is my square edge right here. So now I need to cut or cross cut a length of 915 millimeters. So what I'm gonna do is connect the guide rail square to the 50 inch parallel guide system right here. And the way I'm going to do it is just like this here with these star knobs. Put that right there. And just like the drop on connectors for the parallel guide system, you can connect your guide rail square. The only difference here is going to be that I can drop this on the rail at any position I want. So, what I'm going to do now is just take this, I got the reference here, and just lift this up and drop it right into place. And then I can use my toggle clamp to snap that on. Now I can set my flip stop, which is right here, to 915 millimeters. So here is my 915 millimeter mark right on there. Okay, and I'll lock it in place. Drop my flip stop down. I'm referenced up against my reference edge, so I know that I'm square. I slide it right in. Now I can make that cut safely at 915 millimeters. Unclamp it, lift the rail right up, get it out of the way. And 
now not only do I have perfectly square board, but it's also on the money, 915 millimeters exact. Today, Friday the 16th, the 17th, tomorrow, and Sunday, June 18th, this coincides with not only the release date being today, Friday, but the first day of the sale for the discount for the Father's Day weekend, 10% off. So I will provide a link to this and all my other TSO affiliate products in the description, so make sure you check that and purchase this if you're going to purchase it through that affiliate link. So remember, if you have this and you're happy with it, then stick with it. If you don't don't have one, I suggest this weekend, especially this weekend, that you purchase the new and improved uh, GRS 16 PE V2, which is the updated model. I do like the new features. It feels even more sturdy on the rail than the old system, and the old one is still sturdy on the rail, but I do like the improvements they made. It feels exactly the same. It's all extruded aluminum. Everything is uh, dead straight on it and it still fits in your sustainer with your track saw. So that's another plus because that's where I keep it. Most of the time I just leave it in there and it travels back and forth with me to the job sites. This is not only a 10% sale for the discount on this for the new release, but it's also the actual release date. So today, starting today, June 16th, will be the first day that this is available for you to purchase. And if you need a guide rail square, this is definitely the way to go. All right, guys, thanks for joining me on this really quick video. I hope you guys enjoy the uh, content that I'm putting out there. And uh, remember, I will put my affiliate link to the TSO uh, website with all the products right down below, including the direct link for this guide rail square. Thanks for joining me in the shop. I will see you guys next time. And happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there.